Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 3rd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to a quick video update here. A quick look at our world and upper level winds right now in our southern hemisphere. Interesting. Oblonged oval polar vortex spinning in our southern hemisphere right now. Winds coming in at 421 kilometers per second. In the upper level winds, this is where we can really see our magnetosphere in action. And it's not looking the same as it was a year ago, for sure, let alone 10 years ago. Quick look at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. Looks nothing like the southern hemisphere right now. Amped winds and Largened equatorial region fueling in a lot of warm air as we are experiencing the warmest year on our planet's history. Let's just have a look at the winds spinning around our planet last time this year versus this year, 2023 and 2022. There, there is a dramatic difference, especially in the equatorial winds, if you'll notice. Those dark reds and pinks heading across north of the equator. Things are definitely changing on our planet right now. Whether it has to do with us or the major player in our solar system, the sun. It's happening nonetheless. Great changes on our planet. Let's have a look here again. 2022 over the Atlantic versus 2023, 2022, and 2023. So dramatic shift and difference in our upper level winds and as well, most likely our magnetosphere, magnetic field, which most likely is being fully affected by our sun. Solar cycle 25, which is now a maximum. That's what we are on. We're going to go back there to 2014 versus 2023. And still looks nothing like what we're seeing now. The dramatic shift in our magnetic north and magnetic south have been progressing over the past five years. Let's have a look at our planet surface level temperatures as we are experiencing quite a dramatic heat wave across the world temperatures there in the bottom left hand corner for all these regions still very cool tibetan plateau higher elevations we've got the warmest temperatures ever being reported off the coast of Florida, nearly hot tub temperature. But there's been a big high pressure blockade over the Pacific Ocean here, and as well, the equatorial plains of heat have widened. Having a look now at sea surface temperatures from around the world, get a better look here at a full map view. Those heavy pinks through the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf of California, very warm temperatures and all around the coast of Florida. A very sad finding off the coast of Florida as a lot of the barrier reefs are bleaching due to these very extreme warm temperatures through the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf of California. Even in parts of Lake Erie, reporting a temperature of 23 degrees Celsius, 24 towards Windsor, Ontario. Quick glance versus Southeast Asia, Australia. Very warm temperatures and some dramatic systems will be forming here in the West Pacific long range forecast. Watch for major typhoons. And then look here off the coast of Oman. 
32 degrees Celsius water through the strait. Yes, we are experiencing, according to mainstream media, our hottest summer on record. 2023. And I do believe that has a lot to do with the most contributing factor, our sun. Yes, now we have 8 billion people on our planet. 8 billion people need to eat and have energy. But there are also 48 volcanoes erupting around the world producing enormous amounts of heat. And that is double the volcanoes that we saw just five years ago. We were sitting at about 25 to 30 volcanoes erupting around the world. Now we are upwards of 48 volcanoes across the planet. Just some amazing data here brought to you by Null School showing sea surface temperatures and as well surface temperatures around the planet our great southern hemisphere polar vortex looks like it's being stretched by our south pole and magnetic south pole being so far apart I want to thank all of the new followers to this channel thank you so much for your likes subscriptions comments memberships But this is our big player right here, my friends and family, our sun. This is a look at the last 48 hours of imagery as we've seen another M-class flare incoming. And we've seen a dramatic increase in sunspot numbers and as well flaring regions. It's not our fault. It's the sun's. The creator and destroyer of all life in our solar system is about to really show us who's in charge. And by 2030, we will see the shift. And they all know that the shift is coming. Stay tuned for the next update coming tonight. Give you a full update on our sun. But I wanted to share with you here the sunspot number progression. Right now, looking at 2023, we have a record of value of over 163 sunspots, well above the predicted values, almost a double. And then this is our solar, these are our solar cycles here, dated right back to early 1700s. They started reporting sunspot numbers back in Galileo's time. But we can go back in time here to 1750, showing every solar cycle during this time. And I do believe that we're going to see an increase in the solar activity, heightened activity expected and predicted by NASA in solar cycle 25. Here is a quick glance at our solar cycles throughout history, noting this big dip back in the early 1800s. That was our last mini ice age. Could we be going back to that time in fluctuation? We shall see. Until then, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.